I want to start today showing you the mayonnaise brained insanity confusion that plagues the minds of many of these reflexive anti trans homophobic types. We're going to look at a video clip of Eric Balling on uh, Newsmax. Is he on Newsmax? He used to be on Fox News. He got fired there. I believe he's on Newsmax now. He winds together confusion about transgenderism, people who have a handicap or disability and racism in a way that exposes at, at, at its core how clueless he is. And it's just beyond words. I'm like struggling to even explain it to you. Let me just play it and then we'll talk about it. The context is swimmer Leah Thomas and this new anti trans, not new, growing anti trans vendetta among the American right and MAGA. Take a listen to this and, and try to keep your head on straight during it if you can. Although my, my head was spinning when I first heard this. Mm. Senator, we're going to leave it there. But, but one thought for the folks to take away. You know, see, there's a there's an MMA fighter that is a trans to a male, male to a female. He's fighting or she. It's a trans. He's fighting in the female division, and he fractured the skull of the other fighter. And then one more thought um, before we go: What if someone, a man, decided he wanted to identify as a handicapped person? Mm. Could they just win the Special Olympics because they're <laughs> identifying? We're all supposed to go. Okay, well, let's not be, uh, you know, racist against trans because it, 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 I mean, it's insane. We've gone crazy. Senator Tommy Tuberville, thank you for joining us. There you go. What if this completely implausible scenario came true? Then what would you do, Senator? Then what would the woke left say? This reminds me of a very um, astute uh, statement once made by an Italian chef. If my grandmother had wheels, she would be a bicycle. But of course, she didn't. She was a person. So what is being first of all, the phrase racist against trans is hilarious. What we're talking about is discrimination, not racist against trans. This guy's just he doesn't know what's going on. Um, but the analogy is between gender expression and disability. And this is quite frankly idiotic. We're talking about two completely different aspects of human experience. And you really can't liken one to the other. When we talk about gender expression, we're talking about the external manifestation of gender identity. It might align with your sex at birth or it might not. Trans aside, there is a spectrum where you would say here are biological females and they have varying levels of femininity. Here are biological males and they have varying levels of masculinity. Now, if you imagine these as two overlapping bell curves, there is a point in the sort of tail regions of that curve where the biological women's expression would actually be more masculine than that of some men. Okay, so the point is we're talking about that. When we talk about trans people, we're not talking about what disability is, a physical or mental impairment that might limit your ability to perform a certain task, engage in a certain activity. It's a completely different framework altogether. Trans people might express gender identity in different ways, clothing, hairstyles, mannerisms, other things. These are informed by cultural norms and expectations in society about what it means to be masculine or feminine, feminine. They vary from person to person. They're very different in different cultures. Trans people are often experiencing distress or discomfort when their gender expression doesn't align with their internal sense of self. And there's all these other things. When you claim to, to identify as a handicapped person, despite having no actual disability or limitation, it's not valid or legitimate as an expression of identity. It's disrespectful. It trivializes the experiences of people with disabilities who often, by the way, are facing all sorts of barriers to participating in society. This is similar to when the homophobes used to say, if two men can get married, can get married, what's to stop someone from marrying a horse? Then you go, this, wait a second. Does that make sense? What are you talking about? Horses can't enter into contracts. Marriages are based on two consenting adults understanding the agreement they're entering into. Horses can't do that. Animals can't give informed consent. They can't enter legally binding agreements. It's a, at its core an argument that doesn't make any sense. And it was sort of an attempt to link 
homosexuality to bestiality, quite frankly. Similarly, Balling's idea that a trans person is like someone lying about a disability is absurd and it's ridiculous. And this is the sort of analysis that we've come to expect from Newsmax, quite frankly. One of our sponsors is Paired, the app for couples. Every day, Paired gives you and your partner questions, quizzes, games to have fun, to stay connected, to deepen your conversations and get to know each other better. What's great about it is you don't even have to be in the same room, especially with the baby right now. My girlfriend and I are quite busy and Paired really helped us to stay connected. You get a daily question to answer. You can't see your partner's answer until you answer yourself and their questions about everything, relationship, life, intimacy, other things. And all of the exercises were developed by academic psychologists and expert relationship therapists as well. Questions like what makes you feel lucky in your relationship? Great when you want to remember and have gratitude, really great thing. What's an activity you could try together this month actually gets people thinking about things to do. It can go in really funny directions as well, but it just always feels like time well spent. Head over to paired.com slash Pacman for a seven day free trial and 25% off a subscription. The link is down below.